The RV Show USA is brought to you by Flagstaff, Rockwood, building better RVs, making smarter RVers. So I want to chime in about a very, well, a very real situation happening today in the way of campgrounds and campers. The days of the mom and pop privately owned campgrounds seem to be going away. I am an example of somebody who just sold their campground to a big investment group who paid big bucks to chase the almighty dollar that the RVer is spending. Campground owners like me, well, they're taking the dough that the investment firms are doling out. And the uh, whole landscape of camping in America seems to be changing. In fact, there is a, I don't know, a divide forming, I think, among RVers, at least two substantially different opinions that folks have about the future of RVing. On one hand, the newbie RVers seem to be quite optimistic about the future and their future plans of travel. But on the other hand, the seasoned RVer isn't nearly so enthusiastic, and it looks like some of those veteran RVers are literally thrown in the towel. For too many, they look at the uh, good old days. Look back at the good old days when campgrounds were not crowded, when campgrounds were, were not noisy, when campers were, dare I say, more courteous than many of today's wannabe nomads. Veteran RVers, at least a lot of them, seem to see a grim future when it comes to RVing. Besides the crowds and the increasing cost, there are fewer and fewer medium to upscale campgrounds that are still considered mom and pop, you know, privately owned campgrounds with each passing month. Large corporations and uh, investment folks are buying up every decent campground that they can add to their portfolio. And it's totally understandable. Along these same lines, a recent story in RV Travel paints a not so rosy picture of what the future of RVing may look like. Uh, I got to say that I agree with almost everything it says. I really do. It's definitely good reading and good food for thought. Will the face of camping ever return to what it was 15, 20, or more years ago? Probably not, but camping and RVing will remain a part of the American landscape. It surely will, as cities get more and more crowded and the pace of life continues to speed up. I still know of no better way of connecting with families, no better way of escaping the rat race and finding solitude and bond with your family than RVing. It's more than just a pastime today for many. For many, it's becoming a way of life as Americans are seeking more more than the huge house and all the trappings that goes with it. Check out the story in rvtravel.com and look under Crowded Camping, a grim look at the future and why it's so bad. So how do you see the future of RVing? Are you optimistic or not? Do you have any predictions of what campgrounds may look like in five or 10 years or so? If you would, let us know in the comments section.